It's Magic 102.3 and 92.7, the real sound of the DMV. VJ in the midday, it's Vic Jagger. You know, I always love when I have guests come visit me, and today is no different. And you know what? Okay, so I'm going to break this down like this. (laughs) When you have a Grammy-winning, Stellar Award-winning, American Music Award-winning, BET Award-winning, NAACP award winning <laughs> singer, <laughs> award. musician, wife, mother, <laughs> Tina Campbell in the building today. But hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> hold up. Because there's a little magic that, that floats around her. When you see Tina Campbell, she has this glow, she's smiling, mm-hmm. and you can tell that it's the. It's a little magic around her, and that magic is her husband, Teddy well, Campbell. <laughs> Talk about it, BJ. Musician, <laughs> singer. In the midday. Y'all, <laughs> how are you guys? Good, good. good, you, see, good. you see that smile? Oh, no, know. That's, that's why I had, to, I had to set it up like that. 22 years, I still got it. <laughs> hey, show <Sheldon. laughs> But I wow, what it. a I great introduction. It. I've never had an introduction like that on radio. And wow. You know what? I, I was looking at I was looking at all of your, you know, accomplishments, Mary mm-hmm. Mary, you know, when you first started out, first of all, it was ninety eight. And I was like, It was ninety nine was it ninety eight? Well, it was it's say ninety eight. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> oh, like, y'all oh, put okay. me up on game. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> ninety eight in the game and I you know, I just feel like you guys just swooped in and took over the industry by storm. And when I say like y'all handled a lot of because of the genre that you, you know, were in, there was kind of a little backlash, but it didn't seem like it bothered you at all because it was something new, fresh. And we were like, oh, okay, this beautiful sister's coming in. And they like, well, why they wearing bodycon dress? Excuse me. (laughs) No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't actually think we were in bodycon dresses when we first started. I just think that we were... Erica and I were we were fashionable and we were mm-hmm. not what people usually saw in gospel. But the way that we dressed was exactly the way we dressed at our church. It was exactly the way we dressed in L.A. We were not. So what was the what was the. I don't know. You know, most people are resistant to something different. I find myself now because I've been in the game for quite some time. I find myself now sometimes like, uh, -uh, what are we doing now with some of the young artists with some of the ways that they choose to look and some of Uh their, you know, creative expressions. Sometimes I'm like, Lord, what are we doing? And so, you know, when you get used to what you're used to, you kind of don't want something new. And we were new and we were young and we were fresh. We weren't trying to be anything. We were literally Mm -hmm. just being an extension of how we were when we was back. At our church, in our right. communities, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and so we couldn't come out and, and be anybody other than ourselves, and we were comfortable in our own skin. And we didn't listen a lot to everybody who had opinions and thoughts. And so we were introduced to that when people would interview us. And we'd be like, oh, people don't like us. They'll be fine. They'll be all right. You know that, but that, I didn't that hear whole, a whole lot of that, though. Let me right. just say that. I, it was... It was a lot of positive uh, feedback from where, you know, from Listen, my point of view. Feeling good, feeling <laughs> clear, feeling positive. Hey. I think it was cultural, too, because, like, when she came from L.A. to visit me in Chicago, I'm from Chicago, and uh-huh. when we started dating, I was still living in Chicago. Oh, okay. She brought that L.A. vibe to Chicago, and everybody was like, uh... <laughs> what, 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 what's she doing? What she got on? Why, Listen, why, why, why she got why so many she got holes in the jeans? Why, and her pants and stuff. You know I mean? I was like, so okay. yeah, because I mean, like you know, Chicago was 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 very traditional and a little bit oh. more old school. Okay, you know, L.A. was young and popping. It was the industry, right? You know, yeah. and so when you came out there, it's kind of like going to the Bible Belt. You okay. know, what I mean, you know, it's kind of like going I from Hollywood to you know to the Bible Belt. So it, it it was a little bit different, you know, in that respect. But yeah. but I think and then you said have, you were young. We were too, young. We were, right. I mean, look, we were young, point. and so like there, there's a bit more of a conservative approach that I have now than I did. I was in my twenties. I was freshly married. Mm. I was young. I was popping. Like it was less about the industry. I had a new husband. Like I was like I have to be popping. I got a new man. Like I just you know <laughs> well, I just came into popping. mine. Y'all both are still. Is she still popping? popping out? <laughs> is she popping? Uh, is she you know popping? What? Uh, because one thing that I didn't I didn't expect was the reality TV uh, aspect of it because you know when neither did we <laughs> neither did we totally didn't girl I end up on reality said no like two times I, 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 I said no do it. way more than that we're a little bit more private than yeah, people yeah. okay because that's what think. I was, I was like okay so um, this this opens it up to a whole a whole other 
uh, yeah. you know, audience. Yeah, yeah it, you know, you know, people were, uh, you know, management and stuff like that was busy saying, you know, it's a different audience. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was like, I got an audience. I got a platform and I was like, we good. Like, we good. We, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and I'm not saying this with any arrogance, but I was like, we are worldwide. We all right. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily need that. And I will say that now that we've done TV, TV did uh, expand our popularity. It did expand awareness about us. But, you know, we had been given a platform to do that on. And our our TV show literally followed our existing career. It didn't create a career because a lot of reality shows is creating people's reality. It's creating what they always wanted to Uh do and be. But our reality show was actually following our real life, you know. Um, And I I didn't really want to do it before at first because I'm not, you know, I'm a public figure, but I'm not really. A public. public person. I'm not like I got this <laughs> yeah. big personality and all of that kind of stuff. I got all of the same friends and crew of people that I grew up with, mm-hmm. and the new friends that I have are from my church. Like I don't, I don't go out and do the new scene in Hollywood and beyond. Like that's not me. And so I was like, I don't want to go doing this reality show. Everybody's watching every part of my existence. I have to be on. I have to be. I was Your like, highs I'm not like and that. lows. Yeah. And I, how difficult was it for both of you guys to navigate through? Um, a lot of because when it's good, it's good. You know what yeah. I mean. And you're able to mm-hmm. maneuver and push through that. But then when certain uh, things that we all go through stuff in our life, yeah. I don't, I, you know, people get on their high horse and start judging and on you know. And it's like, listen, your mama just got locked up for food stamp fraud. Now, how are you judging somebody <laughs> else? You know what I mean. So everybody has like, things food that stamp they would never. I know put. some of those. <laughs> They would never put out there yeah. for public consumption for well, people to just you know. So how did you guys we put our whole situation well, I, out I, there? I, I think we yeah. didn't put it out there uh-huh. because the show was a reality show. It was from what we understand the first unscripted reality show on TV. That's what I heard from the producers. Yeah, and so okay. I'm gonna just go ahead with that. Yeah, that's, I, that's what I heard. Said, yep. No, yeah. literally for the first three seasons, they followed our life. They followed what they followed our scenarios. We would bring them in, and they would orchestrate how right. they wanted to capture what was already happening. After three seasons, it started to get a real, little a little special. But in those first three seasons, it, I don't know how to do. I am not a fake person. I can't mm-hmm. do it. I can't. So you said it that, wasn't. There yeah, weren't any it, uh, pre, you know, thought girl, out. No. Storylines. Sometimes we would. Sometimes we would do something for real, and they miss it, and we reenact. They asked us to reenact, but that most of it. That that was the only acting we did. And then when they got our real, you know, dramatic life and all of our issues. After that, they wanted to keep creating the drama that got all the ratings. So what happens is they would take our story and then they would add a little twist. And by the time we get it back in editing, it's all special. Well, like I said, reality show was following our real life. I didn't have time to stop all my life and go look at these edits all day so that I can recreate what you messed up. And like Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't. I'm living like I'm we got a, I got a career. I got a family. I got all this stuff going on. I can't spend all my time looking over your reels and telling you that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And so after a few seasons of that happening, I was like, it's time to go. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But because they were following our life and it was very hard to fake and mask and all of that. Erica found out like Erica found out, I think. In the middle of a shoot that I that I that I that I actually told Ebony what happened in our life. I was like. Well, I told him while we were shooting the cover, oh, I said, okay. oh, when I did my interview, Erica, I just told him what happened. She was like, what? So we were finding out stuff real time when I was finding out about what was going on with my husband. Yeah. That was happening in real time. Yeah. All of that stuff was in real yeah. time. And so it was very hard to try to mask and cover. And you know what? Now that I look back in hind- hind- hindsight, I'm grateful that I did not. There's so many people that tell us, like, because we watched y'all overcome, like, y'all marriage held our marriage together. Y'all yeah. issues. Yeah. You know, there's so many people that go live their whole life in shit shame and embarrassment dudes women and everything and because we were so open and honest with our lives it helped a lot of people it was very hard because it was real i thought that stuff was gonna kill me i I mean you could see the emotion from both of you yeah you know and the power of forgiveness the power of just moving on and it's just like oh my gosh like okay if Someone can get through this and come back from it. Okay, well, maybe I can have that conversation with this person I'm having a disagreement with or yeah. that I'm going through something. So That's the exactly way that you guys is. navigated through one of the toughest times yeah. in the public eye. In real time, girl. Yeah. It, that wasn't up but God's grace. Cause I'm and trying it was to... so out there that you would think like, hold on. 
is this real? Mm-hmm. Like, did this really yeah. happen? No, or did they? No, so trip this. When I looked back at the show, I said, this was my real life. This just happened. Yeah. I, and whenever I would try to go look at edits, like while we were going through that, whenever I would try to look at edits, it was too much for me. I couldn't take it. I was like, Erica, it's taking me backwards. I can't do it. Like, because we were trying to get through and make it through it. So every time right. I, I was like, this happened to me. The world is seeing this. Ah! I was like going like that. Mm-hmm. But I think at the end of it all, me and, I was like, we're going to have to face this because we got to see what the world yeah. is going to see. And I was like, Erica, I'm entrusting everything to you. I can't look at no edits. I can't have no input. I'm really trying to get through this. And the good thing and about so, it is the testimonies really like. So yeah. like for me, a lot of dudes, I'm talking about a lot of dudes mm-hmm. was coming out the woodwork like, yo, man, how did you manage to stay in that marriage, do what you did. How did you manage? Like, how did you tell your wife? How did you come clean? How, how did, did you, you save expose your yourself? How was, did you, you know what I mean? Like from a man's perspective, yeah. you know, we just run and we hide and nobody even knows about what we're going through. Mm-hmm. And so for me to go through that openly, dudes was like, you know, it was helping a lot of guys. Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, you know, it was, it was something that we, we hate that it happened, mm-hmm. but, beyond what happened what's happening now god yeah. used it people it, are people yeah. are being How it impacted. Mm, yep. oh man oh, they're god being so helped in our test and That's our testimony, testimony <clears throat> to create testimonies with other people and for that i'm entirely grateful we literally mm-hmm. watched that whole season at the end we watched oh, i guess we gotta turn that off huh it's fine <laughs> <laughs> we literally watched the whole the whole season oh, yeah. And we looked at each other and hi- on the couch, we just high fi- sat there for several hours and watched them all. We high fived each other and was like, we made, we made it through. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. came together, made one social media account. I said, look at Teddy and Tina. It's Teddy and Tina. Tina yeah. and Teddy. Uh, Teddy and Tina. It's Teddy and Tina. <laughs> I did that. She was like, yeah. she, I don't even know. He was like, oh, we on, we on, we on, we on, we on social media. We on Instagram. I was like, <laughs> Oh, okay. We, we yeah. on oh, Instagram. Right. Yeah. Sure, yeah, okay. No, but did that is that um did that help you as well to like do things together and show people that hey, we got through this and look, here's our life and here's what we're doing. Yeah. Well, it was all kind of stuff we did. did that helped us come together. Like mm-hmm. we we did some very intentional things that helped us come together because we were definitely like on the other side of the world doing, you know, I was doing this, she was doing that, you know, and that's why this music, you know, is a part of it too. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many things that we've done that, that, that has brought uh, brought us together with this music part though. Like that is like, man, like for me to be doing music with this girl, that's a miracle. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing (laughs) is, I I will, I will tell you this kind of going back to the account. I think Teddy was like, we should share like, we should share what's going on. Like people mm-hmm. should be able to see like what God has done. And so for us, it was just like with the reality show. We were really just sharing our real life. Yeah. And right. so our social media page just became us sharing our real life. We we don't we don't create our life for people. Like I can't live my life for people. I can't do it. Yeah, like you just showcase you just whatever. You just showed it. On. And that's that like he said, that's what we're doing right now with this music. Our music is our real life. Yeah. Our our the our title track, um, our house is literally what Christmas is like at our house. All of the all other songs, they're totally and completely our life. From our faith, our say, love, all of it. Who initiated the the we should do a Christmas album together? Well, we should do music together. Well, we, you know the girl we over there in the corner, the oh. team. Yeah. <laughs> the team with the team singing. Well, well, okay. It started okay. with a song that celebrated our 21st year anniversary last year. And okay. it was called 21. And congratulations on 21. Thank you. Yeah. 2022 now. this year. Yeah. Yeah. So last year... Tina wrote a song called 21 and we weren't we 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 didn't like each other. We, we didn't like each other when I wrote yeah, that song. We didn't like each and other. So strong. I didn't even know that we was going to make cuz we were, we was in 20 we was at the 20 year mark and I was like um uh, God yeah, gave good. me a God, good. Yeah, I was like, yep. yeah, we good. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I said, we well, we, we, we tried, and yeah. it ain't gonna work. But in the meantime, God gave me the song, and I don't know why He gave me the song because I was contemplating divorcing you strongly when twenty one happened. When I was like, where did this song come from? Mm-hmm. The words just came to me, and I was like, I'm leaving him. I can't do this anymore. And it twenty one ways to make my heart sing, twenty one ways to make me smile. I was like. I don't even like this guy right now. What is this? But it was just all in my head. Mm -hmm. So I wrote the song out and I was like, well, God, if you can get us to 21 years, I'll do the song. 
and he got us to 21 years and it was it was still challenging at 21 years actually yeah but we did the song did and so did the video and our team was, was like crazy. y'all should do some christmas music and so i was like well you know, I'm one of those kind of writers and I, and I, you know, I, I am really gifted and I'm grateful for, for the gift to be able to pen songs. But I have to write from either out of my experiences, my mm-hmm. passion from like watching something. And I was like, I can't just like I'm not the kind of person like go write a song. I can do a jingle that way. I can write yeah. for you, but I can't write for me that way. It has yeah. to be something that I connect with. And so they was like, you should do you, we, y'all should do some Christmas stuff because Christmas is coming. I was like, well, if some Christmas stuff comes, we'll do it. <laughs> OK. And it just kind of. It all just started. Well, Stephanie knew it, what to do to get yeah, to, to, so, to plant yeah, the seed. The team was like, "Y'all should do it," and so we just we started doing it. And I just started, I just started writing what was coming to me. And so this song came last year. We released some songs that was kind of love centered. And this year we we have the love songs, the family songs, the the what Christmas is really about. Yeah. Uh, one called "Remember Jesus." We have a little bit. I think of all, all of our life. You got the the stuff for the party. You got the stuff for the church service. You got the stuff. For, you no. know, when you guys are each other's gift, you have those songs. <laughs> you got a little bit of everything. Yes. And it's just what it's literally what's true to us. I think music that I put out, music that I do with my sister, Erica, I think it's true to us. It's our experiences. It's our faith. But mm-hmm. my music that I write and our music is so personal. It's so extremely personal. And yeah. so I feel like if we share our personal experiences with other people like we've been doing, it might bless them. It might uplift them. It might be something that they can hold on to every season. And so... There you have it. And I love that y'all are giving a little piece of yourselves because Christmas at our house, first of all, that title is just like, oh, okay, so they're welcome, welcoming us in. We can sit down, take off our shoes. That's how it right. feels. And go through it. And I love that. And so um, a lot of these, are these original? Uh, all of them. All mm-hmm. of them are original. See, yep. how, see the talent, the talent yeah. right there. All right, the so glory. today... At this moment, because I always say all of your songs are your babies. Okay. Yeah. Right. But at this moment, what song are you feeling? I'm going to just go on and go with our house. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. It's so true to our family. Yeah. That's what our house looks like on every holiday, not just Christmas. It looks like all of the family everywhere. It looks like eating. Yeah. It looks like the dudes are over in their corner. The women are in their space. The kids are in their space. <laughs> the video is and real. The video is so it's real. real. Yeah. It's so yeah. entire. It's so completely real. The lyrics, like, I wrote my verses and I was like, Teddy, you got to get on this song because I can't write from your perspective, not for this song. You got to give me, and he just went in there. He went back. I think I don't know if he went in the back room where we were sitting on the couch and he was like, you know, me and the fellas going to watch bufo- football. The ladies going to run their mouth. And I was like, <laughs> wait, hold up. But it's that's the truth. That's, that's, yeah, that's true. That you face know, she and gave yeah. in the video, the, the ladies do that face. That was real. She gave exactly. that face like, what? And so it's just, it's just bo- all, both of us sharing our experiences. And like yeah. you said, giving a piece of ourselves. Uh, you know, there, there, there may be artists who can just go create this this idea in this world and that's what they do. I don't exactly do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my way of writing is to convey what's in my heart, my perspective, my view and my take on things. Um, generally what's personal to me. And so I think our house will have to be that song because it just, that song looks like my family and it's going to yeah. always look like my family. <clears throat> so it's going to always be near and dear to my heart. Cause that looks like every holiday. I was going to say, that I spend that with my is family. probably what everyone who listens like, Oh, okay. Yeah. I can relate to this. Exactly. That's like, my who family bring it too. Was. <laughs> exactly. We yes. all on the phone trying to figure out, can it be at your house? No, y'all taught my house last year. Can it be at your house? Like, no, y'all, oh, y'all. So that's got... not only me. No, that's all <laughs> my family was at my house uh, maybe two or three Easter's ago. And they said, so we just not going to be able to come back to your house. Exactly. Like, you know, people be the needing, last like, time a year to recover like let's just give me one Big or two stuff. years I got to paint my walls again yes. y'all broke my chairs like remember like uh-uh. so hers is hers is our house mine is I like I, I will say our house is up there too but mm. we but we were talking the other day and there's a song we put out last year it's called Ask Away and there's a mm. video to that too you like and, Ask Away cause you like to well, Ask Away well you know away. you know I, 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 okay. it's, it's sexy and that was the first time we ever did anything like that you know but um, she's really singing like like just it, it, she's singing to me, you know what I mean. And so that means a lot. The way she's the way she's phrasing mm-hmm. some of her lyrics and the, just the, the tone of her voice, you know. I always thought that she could be a great R and B singer anyway. She just got that voice. Yeah. But she's singing to me, and I'm like, yeah, this this my one right here. I, I think I like <laughs> Look this. At one. You. Look at that. I think I like this. Girl, I'm just going to tell you, Ask Away will help you out. 
I, the, the the we have we have tested the music and oh, okay. it uh-huh. will help you it will help you out it will help you Stop the bottom. it will help you ask away <laughs> that's all I can say it will help out listen if you're having issues in your marriage and your relationships and stuff like that ask away might help your Christmas come together in a different way that's all I'm saying Amen. yes <laughs> and then with, with titles like love oh love yeah. yeah together for christmas mm-hmm. it seems like it was just this one uh big family situation so did you get inspired by anyone in your family or anyone i don't know giving you stories to that you were like, you know what? I'm about to put that on the album. I don't, not really. I'm a storyteller. So I will take, this is what I do. I have written from my husband's perspective, but I'm the mm. one that write it. Like, he talks to me. He conveys his heart to me. He conveys his passion. Okay, his so you're the muse. Emails, okay, letters, so anything that yeah. I've written or said, uh-huh. she writes, she, t- she dictates everything. She writes everything down. I love that. Sound. I'm just trying to get the creative yeah. process of yeah. a husband and wife. I'm sure that, do you ever have creative differences where you're like well baby I think you should indefinitely mm-hmm. All <laughs> definitely, time. definitely. Yeah. and I'll be I think thinking this. and then I, I'll be like you know I do this right like and then I go down my little resume like you know I and he's like, like I, I know don't you have do nothing, this. That don't have nothing to do with but nothing. But you know, I this was doing it. this before you was doing this. See, <laughs> I don't gotta say that, but I mean, hello. So you know, I'm not trying to start. <laughs> but you know what? Really, like he's he's a consummate professional in his yeah. respective area, you know. And then so am I. And so you got these two creative heads kind of sometimes bumping. And so sometimes we bump heads. But yeah. I think he trusts he trusts my expertise, and I trust mm-hmm. his expertise. So we always come to. Um, a happy medium yeah. and you know over time it just gets better he gets he gets better at what he's good at I get better at what I'm good at and we get better at trusting each other at yeah. what we're we're That's best it. at you yeah. know what I mean yeah. the trust yeah. yeah and so will we see this performed on any stages are you guys going to have a special coming up you know I well, gotta ask I will there- tell you this we have done like we did good in, we did good day New York uh earlier this week we just okay. did um good day DC today mm-hmm um, we're singing at Stevie Wonder's Home for the Holidays. Ooh, this, house, nice. house, I'm sorry, House Full of Toys mm-hmm. this okay. year. By next year, I'm positively sure that we will be touring this because this is the, this is the thing for for you know I'm three different groups. Like I'm three different situations. Yes. I'm Mary Mary. I'm uh-huh. Tina Campbell, uh-huh. and now I'm Teddy and Tina. And I know people's like pick which one are we don't know. What but it, you can do all things. So. That's the thing. And so I'm like, when is the best time to do something like this during the holidays? Because ain't nobody finna be. I ain't finna be running around on the road on the holidays. I'm finna be at the house with my husband and my kids. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So this is like the best time to do holiday music. It can be. Ex- actually much more received because holiday is about your family and the people that you love the most erica loves me but she got her own husband and her own kids and so you know it was great for us to come together and do this so we will absolutely tour this and i I, are going to be busy i am uh, going to be busy about a solo project coming next year Solo project is coming next year but during christmas time really i'm not going to be i don't care what's going on and i don't care what the offer is what the opportunities are I'm going to be with my family on Christmas. Oh, she letting y'all know that right Hands now. Hands down. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'll be miserable. Don't like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking the call. <laughs> right, I'm not right. taking the offer. I'm just not doing it. Mm-hmm. And so this just makes sense because this is where I want to be and this is where I choose to be during this season. And so, you know, I'll do my thing throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. during the holiday season, we can do this and we can do it every I year. I mean, I just had an idea that y'all can just, you know, do like a live where y'all do you know, Christmas at our house, and it's like a live kind of like how you did versus when everybody just tuning in to y'all. Well, you know what? Well, let me just uh, let, let's put you up that. on game. Okay. We're actually having Christmas <laughs> at our house. It's yes. December 18th. People actually just got a little while longer. We're going to shut it down. <laughs> Stephanie said we should shut it down like by Tuesday. So okay. in a couple of days. Today is Monday. Mm-hmm. I'm, okay. I've been, I'm sorry. I've been all over the place. So I, can't, I can't keep I don't up know with what the day. day it is. <laughs> so like tomorrow or Wednesday, we're going to cut it off. But we're doing Christmas at our house where it's going to be a live stream event where I'll be able to see in your house. You'll be able to see in my house. Oh, you get wow. to meet all my kids and see what we got going on. Meet all of our family. See what we got going on on the holiday. You know, we decorate the tree we sharing our traditions and then we'll also engage you know the, the people that are too. so yeah. we've got nice. well over a thousand families that have signed up wow. already yeah and so it's going to be christmas at our house so we're doing that 
But by next year, mm-hmm. I do believe that we might kick off the holiday season with a live streamed uh, concert scenario. Yes. And then we'll actually be live, you know, around yeah, the country touring. Yes. touring. So, yeah, yeah, we're planning to do that. And Christmas music doesn't go away. Like, no. my favorite song is Donny Hathaway. That song, 562 no, 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 years. No, no, okay. no, no. It's not Donny Hathaway. He's, he's, he's an artist, not a song. Not my favorite. You mean Teddy this Christmas? I got, you know, she, they know what I'm talking you. about. My favorite said, song my is Donna Hathaway. My, this Christmas? My, yeah, this Christmas. You already uh-huh. know. There you go. Yeah. My favorite song. But, <laughs> I, I get it, though, because so, I like, said once you hear, for me, it, it's the Temptation Silent Night, because once you hear, right. in my mind, so yeah. after that, it's like, oh, it's the uh, holiday. Right? right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the objective, to, to, yeah. to make this music that's so timeless that it never goes away. And so yeah. every holiday season, it's been a year that you haven't had it so you've had time to miss it and like the Christmas shows the biggest Christmas shows is not the big new songs Mariah Carey is still outselling everybody okay, her record 500 year. years old you know what I'm saying yes. you know what the top three songs are it's Mariah Carey um, Which song? Um, Mariah. Th- top three Christmas songs it's Mar- one, my, one of one of them is Mariah Carey one of them is Paul McCartney Okay, like Paul McCartney is 100 um, yeah. And the other one is uh, Darlene, Darlene yeah. Love. Darlene Love is mm-hmm. elderly, too. Like, these songs have been out since, like, the 70s or the 80s or the yeah. 90s. And Timeless these are still music. the top songs. And so when you make Christmas music, you want to think forever. And we try to think and make forever happen. And hopefully yeah. we'll be able to tour as long as we choose to. Our house is going to be around forever. Yeah, That's just man. that kind of song. You know yeah. what I mean? Christmas gonna be at our house is yeah. I mean like who who I think who ain't rocking with that. Especially that you every black put family. in the rotation, yes. Yeah, yeah make like, sure you put it in the Christmas rotation. Yeah. Listen, it needs to be at your party. And, uh, Wait, somebody and, just and told that us remember that. Jesus? When people hear that <laughs> Oh yeah, remember Jesus. And the thing is there's no way that we can do a Christmas record like at the core of my existence, mm-hmm. I'm a Christian first. Yeah, I'm a gospel yeah. singer when it comes to my gift. Yeah. I don't care what other music I sing. The core of me, I'm a gospel singer. So there's no way that we could do a Christmas record, even though we do kind of like, you know, R&B soul music. Yeah. There's no way we could do Christmas and not recognize why this season is. And so remember, Jesus is just very near and dear to our heart because it's saying like, don't don't miss what this is about. Do not. Be confused about, look, get your gifts and have your fun, have your part, but do not miss what this is about. So Absolutely. I believe those songs will be around forever and hopefully we'll be singing them for years to come on tour. Yes, indeed. We'll let everyone know where they can stream it, keep up with when you all announce the tour next year mm-hmm. and not for own Christmas either. Not a- <laughs> <laughs> See, I already told y'all, but where they can keep up with you guys and all your information. Well, you can stream it everywhere, everywhere. that you stream your music yeah you can download you know, and stream it everywhere yeah. but you know what we're at teddy and tina everywhere if people go to our ig and facebook pages they can click the link in the bio and it will lead you to everything we have merch we have christmas merch yes, we've merch. got the i'm his gift i'm her gift we got the together hoodies we got all of this stuff actually everything that you see us having that we have on in the video that's yeah. our merch that's okay. our merch. We like, listen, get your family together, put your hoodies on, and take your yes. Christmas pictures in this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so all of that, you can uh, you can you can get all of that at our on our pages. If you just click the link in our bio on, at Teddy and Tina on IG or Facebook, and you can see the video and all of our videos on at Teddy and Tina on YouTube. And so, yes. yeah, go there and check us out. And uh, and the Our House event, like if y'all want to come and experience uh-huh. Christmas at Our House. Because they're leaving it open until Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Okay. I, I, if, 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 depending they, on the tomorrow, amount of people that sign up, it tomorrow. might shut down tomorrow. Because okay. okay. it's been open for about uh, it's been open for about a week and a half. And I think okay. within a few days, we had a thousand families. And so, yeah. that's pretty good. That and, is amazing. And if we if we let too many people in, it might you know, we don't want a Shut situation down. with a crash. And then so we might have to stop. And they get on social families. media and talk about you. Y'all yeah. know they had that. Uh, <laughs> right. You know how people get. Right. 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 Uh, like, they told us whack. to sign like, up. And they, <laughs> listen, 1,500 families could easily be, you know, it could be easily be five times that amount of people. So we're trying to figure yeah. out, you know, what to shut it down at. And so if y'all okay. want to go, go to at Teddy and Tina, IG or Facebook page and click the link in our bio and just click Christmas at attend Christmas at our house. And you can RSVP and you got to sign up for you and whoever is in your family is going to come and it's going to yes. be real cool it's our first time doing that it's our first time kind of streaming Teddy yeah, and Tina even so we're excited yeah. about that yeah. trying to figure out what's going to be on our menu like do we do Christmas breakfast or do we do Christmas dinner what are we going to do we're trying I to know. figure it out and we're doing what is our theme this year seafood hmm. so, oh. see that's yeah. cool see that that's yeah, something see cool to talk about, about. Too. <laughs> I said well like who, who's bringing the crab legs because <laughs> yeah that part <laughs> yes. yeah who making the sauce for them though that's my that's cousin the she got it 
She Kay. got it. She don't like telling her recipe, but I'm going to try to get it out right, of her. Right, right. Yeah. I ain't going to tell nobody. It's, <laughs> I ain't going to sell it. <laughs> Christmas at <laughs> our house. What a theme. And it shall live on forever and ever. Yes, oh, thank and you. before you go, you know, I just have to thank you personally for go get it. Go get like hey. in my mind when something is going. Go get your blessing. I'm like I'm going. Go get it. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> go get I'm it. going to get it. Yes, I love yes. It. I love so it. Thank you for go get. It. I can tell you in person. Oh, you're fun. welcome. It's just, it's you're everything. welcome. Yes. That's about to be my new workout anthem because it's time for me to get myself together. Listen, that's another Mary Mary song. I'm gonna just put go all Mary Mary <laughs> music on and just put my behind on the treadmill and get myself no, that is together. A good workout song, girl. I'm gonna put. It together. My little sister was listening to Mary Mary. I was like, you know what? I'm finna get on this Mary Mary workout situation. Make a playlist and put it on Spotify. That's exactly what I shoot. It might end up being a workout video. Oh, okay. with well, Mary. Listen, listen. Come on, hey. Mary Mary losing weight to Mary Mary. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I love it. Tina Campbell, Teddy Campbell, thank you so much thank for coming in today you. and much success and much thank love you. to you. And thank happy holidays. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.